Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how I create this brick patterns uh, in FreeCut. So you can see I can also go inside the uh, sketch 002 here, and I can and I can change the number of the middle higher. For example, five to make the middle part uh, thicker, close. And you can see uh, uh, in the middle part they are touching and let's see if i can go back here and i can change the number in here to two and this one also smaller three close and you can see in the middle they are no longer touching and this one also th uh, thinner and I can also come out here and select in the array and changing the number of the S8. And this one, I select in the array of 001 and change this to 8. You can cut that off. So if you like it, you can follow my tutorial. Okay, so right here you can see I have so this one is basically a combination of so many hexagon so you can see right here i have one hexagon and in the middle i have a circle just doing a simple pocket i will have this uh hole in free card i will create a new sketch in the front view and i will create a hexagon Selecting this point and this line and I hit C. This circle and I will set the diameter to 90. Then I close. Next I will select in this sketch and go to is true. Let's try fit, uh, 14 for that. Symmetric. Okay. Now I have the thickness. The next thing I need to do is I will create in a circle on this face and it's true and create in a boolean cut. So I go to create a new sketch based on this face and we create a circle. Let's set the diameter to 67. I go to is true and let's try 10 for that. Symmetric okay now we can draw selecting the is true and is true zero zero one and I go to cut the next thing you need to do is i will create a profile in the right view so we go to the right view and create a new sketch in the right and view the section and i will reference this line and this line and you can see you should rotate the view a little bit and make sure you reference this uh, circle over here so that i will have this point so do not use this point down here okay use this point up here because you can say the upper geometry over here just go tangent with the lower one and from the edge of the circle the surface just go inside of the hexagon so I go to the right view and I will reference another line in here now I will correlate poly line we start from here and I put one line vertical like this and I move my mouse over here somewhere in here and I hit M three times so that I will have this arc and then I click on this line and I move my mouse right in the center point and then I hit M three times so that I will have another arc I click off all right now I select this point and make sure you select in the point up here okay and I hit C to snap it this arc and this line and hit T okay now we have one degree of freedom which is this point 
now I create in another uh, polyline. Start from here to here and move your mouse somewhere in the middle and hit M one, two, three and come over here. Hit M one, two, three. Okay. Selecting this arc and this red line hit N for perpendicular. Selecting this point and this point hit H for horizontal and let's move this one to the left selecting this point and this point hit H this point and this point hit H now let me select in these two and hit D and I will set the length to 4 and I can set the length up here also 4 and from there, I will create in lines to connect in between. Now you should have one degree of freedom. And make sure this line is higher than this line. And I close. Now I will revolve this one in the Y axis and click OK. Next, I will create three circles and boolean cut it. Go to the front view and create in a new sketch in the front. View the section and then create in external geometry and select in this point, this point, and in this point. Create three circles. Select these three circles and hit E for eagle and set the diameter of this one uh, the same diameter with the circle in the middle which is 67. Hit OK. Then I close. Now I will extrude this one to 20 in the negative one for the y axis. And then I can control selecting the revolve and the is true and I go to cut. Okay. The next step is I want to remove the geometry outside. Just keep the inside. So to do that, I just borrow the first sketch. So I go inside the cut. And inside the is true, so that I will have the first cat. I click on this cat and I go to is true. And I is true this cat in the negative one in the y axis. And let's try to is true it to 20. Click OK. And make sure this is true is overlapping with my piece. Okay. Now I can draw selecting the cut 001 and the true 003 and I go to intersection. Okay. I click on the common and I want to create in another mirror. So let's go to the drug workbench. Go to the right view and make sure you turn on the snap lock, snap and point. Okay. And then you go to the mirror and you click on this point and then this point. Okay. Let me hide the grid. So you should have something like this. Now I click on the new mirror and go to the transform. And I want to rotate it 60 degree. So I click on the green one and I rotate it 60 degree like this. Okay. Now you can say um, these two just intersection each other. So I, I want to decrease the thickness in the middle a little bit. So I click on the common and inside is a common and the cut zero zero one. And right here you can see the revolve. And I go inside the revolve and the sketch zero zero two. And let me change 
the thickness in the middle a little bit low lower to show good okay okay now it's much better now i will uh go to the part workbench and control selecting the cut okay and the common mirror and the common and i go to union okay the next step is i want to create in an array of this but before i create array i need to find the gap between for example i need to have another one like this i need to find a gap in between and i also want to create in another copy up here so i need to i need another gap up here so let me go back and find the very first get of the uh, hexagon and name the constraint in there and i will use the, these values for the offset later so let me go back to the fusion and the cut and let's go inside this is true and right here you can see i have the first get go inside it and this get is now fully constrained but i need to uh, know the distance from the center up here so i click on this point and i hit d and you can see this one is 45 so let me click on the reference and i go to the name and, and i will name it to uh, height and i click ok all right and then I can select in this point and I hit D and I click on reference and I will name it with then I close okay so now I have information but we need to do another step that we need to create in another copy of the fusion and move it uh, to the upper right so let me go to the front view and go to the drop workbench so you click on the fusion and you go to make sure you turn on this snap lock all of these snapping option in here and you click on the move tool and make sure you check on the copy okay and you will start from the lower left and you put another point on the upper right and then you will have another copy and you close all right now i will combine these two together so i go to the prod workbench and control selecting these two fusion and go to prod compile and make compile okay now i have one single compile and i click on the compile and i go to the drug workbench in the drug workbench i go to the modification array tool and array and First, I want to uh, array it in the S axis. So I don't care about Y and Z. So I put one for the Y and one for the Z. And the number of S, let's try five. You can change that later. And everything down here is default. And I click OK. And you can see I have five copies. But uh, how do I fix the thickness? the offset so i click on the array and i go down here for i care about the s only the s interval click on it and inside the s interval the s is 100 now so i click on the fs and i will point to the number that i just named before so let me go to the sketch the first cat okay and this cat have the constraint go to the constraint 
and the name of this will be the width and I click OK. Now you can see the offset just update but is incorrect. So I need to multiply it to two to make it work properly. So I click on the array and I go to the S interval again, go to the expression and let's multiply two. Okay. Now it's working fine. Next, I will click on the array and go to the array again. Or you can go to the here. And this time I just care about the Z axis. So let me put one here, one here. And for the Y, I put number like five. And I click everything is default and I click OK. As you can see, I have five copy up here, but again, it's wrong. So I need to go inside the sketch, uh, this array, and and I close this one. And I care about the Z. And for the Z, 100 here, I will set the expression. Uh, and I go inside the expression and we set it uh, to the sketch. Go to the sketch. And I will go to the constraint and I choose the height and I click OK. And you can see it's update, but again wrong. So I need to multiply it to three. To three. Now it's working fine. And then you can go inside the array, the first one, and you can change the number of S to, for example, 10. Okay. And you can go up here for array 0, 0, 001 and change the number of Z to 10. Okay. Okay. And if you want to again change in the thickness in here in the middle, you can go back to the array, the compile, the fusion 001 or fusion is fine, go, in, go inside the common and just looking for, go inside the cut and just looking for the revolt and just go inside the sketch and just change this one to let's say 3, close, now you can see they are thicker. So that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.